here's my first attempt at my rocket stove heater. I'm using a water pressure tank. I have another one there. I have a 5 inch piece of square tubing. 5x5. Five 5x5. Five. Five five. Right now I'm cutting it with a tip cutting saw. You can see them down one side, down the other side to make the angle. Uh, started to use the old portable variable speed bandsaw. Uh, it works really well. The only trouble is it only cuts the four and three quarter inches and that's five inches. Uh, if that doesn't work, I'm going to use the cutoff wheel on the grind to work. Now we're going to check see how thick our steel is. First thing we want to do is take it back to zero. Point two seven seven. So we know the two point two seven seven would be uh, point two five to be a quarter of an inch. So we look here in the no gas. Should be two point five e. The settings for no gas. Out here we'll set it at 2.5 E. So it's a MIG Pack 140 Lincoln Electric welder. I am not a professional welder, I'm not even a good welder, but we'll give her a try. Said I'm sure not a professional welder, not a splatter. Thought if I put it on a little bit thicker that it might hold the flame back a little better. However, I'm gonna grind her down a bit smoother than now, but a lot of splatter. I'm gonna cut the bottom out of this pressure tank to set the top of the other one. I'm going to use the grinder to cut off this kind of
that's what you drink the water's in. Actually, the water's inside of there. This is where the pressure pushes against the bladder to push the water out the pipe when the tank gets lower. Anyway, you see how high it's going to be. That fits straight inside there a little bit, straighten that up, and uh, weld her on. And we're going to have a pretty high stove. So now I'm going to try to insert the tube inside. There's some heavy. Here I made a clean out for the bottom of it. I screwed onto three of the legs, bolts in the bottom. I cut the other ones, cut the other two or three off. Every so often, I could take the bottom plate off here and take the ashes out. I'll probably put some type of insulation in there and then put the plate on top just so that uh, no sparks could go at the bottom. But and this is how I'm bracing the burn tube inside. Just put a couple pieces of strap on this back there. Back both sides. Tack weld them on. Tack weld them on the side of the burn tube. This is basically what she's going to look like. See what she burns like. Just put a plate over the top temporarily to see what she burns like. Uh, you see there's a burned tube down there. Burn tubes gonna be about five, five and a half inches from the top of it. Overall, this thing measures from the ground up. She's gonna be four feet high. Still smoking pretty bad, so I don't, it's not hot enough yet, man. You hear other people on YouTube saying theirs don't smoke, or, but maybe it's just not hot enough yet. We'll give her a little while.